Hey losers, welcome back to a new episode here at Zero Losers Studio. I know you're probably wondering, why am I sitting down again? Halloween specials are over. But if you haven't noticed, we have the fire cracking because the holidays are coming. Time for a holiday video. First of all, I just want to say, Halloween is never over, okay? In this channel, we're always talking about horror. And number two, the cozy holiday season are almost here. We're so close to Thanksgiving, and next thing you know, it's gonna be Christmas. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about five cozy and comfy video games to play during this holiday season. Number one, Skyrim. Weird, right? But think about it. The music, the traveling, the fantasy. You stumble upon a lot of snowy areas in the mountains. Doesn't it give you that cozy, wintry feel? It does to me. It just reeks of winter and absolute misery. Every time I think about Skyrim, I think about getting under the blanket with some warm, hot cup of cocoa and playing to my heart's content. Skyrim isn't going anywhere anytime soon either. I wouldn't be surprised if they announced an update for the PS5 and Xbox One X series, so... Maybe we'll get Skyrim for the new gen, again, like we always do. It's like a curse. It's like a chronic illness. It never goes away. <sighs> gotta love it, gotta hate it. It's one of those games where you really do lose yourself in it. If you ask for my opinion, I think Dragon Age is better than Skyrim. <coughs> but yeah, so pick it up. Definitely play it. Definitely a game you want to play this holiday season. Number two, Stardew Valley. Who doesn't love a good old 8-bit farming game? Everyone loves it. Who doesn't love it? Tell me who doesn't love it. Tell them to meet me in the parking lot right now. Right now! The music and just the gameplay itself melts all of your anxieties and worries away. Instead of worrying about what to buy your mother for Christmas this year, worry about fishing, farming, cleaning out your whole farming area. Just worry about that. Don't worry about Christmas. Worry about your farm on Stardew Valley. I have personally fallen asleep to those playlists on YouTube, the Stardew Valley playlists. Oh my god, they're so relaxing. Just something about the Stardew Valley music is just shifts kiss. It reminds me of a good hot bowl of your mom's chicken noodle soup. That's how comfy Stardew Valley is. Number three, Minecraft not on survival mode. It is one of the most relaxing experiences ever. I used to be one of those people who would just absolutely shit on Minecraft. I'd be like, oh, Minecraft, whatever. I hate Minecraft, Minecraft's for losers. And then recently I really started getting into Minecraft and I'm like, wow, Minecraft is just, it's amazing. I can see why it's such a popular game. The music, the ambiance is just pure relaxation. Just. And in creative mode, you can create honestly anything and you can just explore to your heart's content. It's just one of those games where you just lose yourself for hours. Trust me, Ito, Nate and I, we've lost ourselves in Minecraft for hours. Like one time we had to get together with friends to play Minecraft and I kid you not, we played from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. Like it, it was that insane. Of course it wasn't on creative mode, it was on survival mode and we've had like crazy experiences, but it was totally worth it. It's such a fun game. When you're having one of those very, very difficult days or one of those rough days, boot up some minecraft you don't remember anything you're like what i don't know i'm playing minecraft that's how you feel when you play minecraft yoshi's crafted world this game is so cute and cozy nate and i play on and off throughout the weeks throughout the months but when we do oh my god we get sucked in for hours it's just so cute and relaxing to play you're literally a yoshi made out of freaking yarn okay and you're just platforming your way through so many cute and crafted worlds This game is super cute, super relaxing. It's not a hard game, so I highly recommend it for one of those nights you don't know what to play and you wanna play a multiplayer game. Yoshi's Crafted World, Animal Crossing. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that Animal Crossing New Horizons made it on the list. This game is super popular right now. Everybody in their mamas and grandmas is playing this game. So I'm not gonna go into great detail why you should play Animal Crossing. In fact, I made an Animal Crossing video earlier this year so you definitely check it out if you haven't already. This game has been our weighted blanket for this crazy year of 2020. This game has kept us sane and safe. Personally, I did put the game down for a while now just because of school. And well, there's another game that 100% took all of my attention, <laughs> Breath of the Wild, which is another honorable mention. Please play this game if you haven't. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite games ever. Ah! Anyways, sorry, Tom Nuke. 
sorry villagers but yeah this game once you log in you're just like oh no enemies no nothing just collect insects plant flowers talk to my villagers <sighs> it's amazing and cozy and relaxing seriously it's one of those games where when you just want to decompress you boot that sucker on and you play for me lately it's been breath of the wild I didn't want to put it on the list just because it is a very intense game and it's very hard. So I wouldn't consider it a comfy and cozy game, but it's definitely been my decompressing game. I don't know. It's weird. I, it's been relaxing to me, but I don't think it's considered cozy and comfy. Let me know down below what's a cozy and comfy game for you. What's your go-to game for decompression, self-care time? I want to know. Share down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, what you waiting for? Hmm? What took you this long? You're watching this video, right? So go ahead and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. We'll see you next time. Bye, losers.